Brilliant. Right. Who remembers this guy? Hopefully you can see him. Who remembers this guy from the first, second week when we looked at God is holy? Do you remember this guy in the video? He helped us to learn what is God like? Well, he's back. He's had a costume change. He's, he's changed his clothes, but he's going to help us again today in a little video to understand our next thing about what God is like. Let's have a look. What is God like? God is everywhere. God is there when you go shopping. He's on the top of Brill Hill. He's at the beach. He's in the jungle. He's at school. He's at the hospital. He's in outer space. He's there when you're fast asleep. He's with the Queen in Buckingham Palace. He's in the, He's football, in the football stadium. stadium. He's at the cinema. He's there with you in the dark, when you're scared, when you're alone, when you've done something wrong, when you've had an argument. He's there when you're full of joy, when you laugh, when you give somebody a big hug. Wherever you go, God is there, everywhere. Where can I go to get away from your spirit? Where can I run from you? If I go up to the skies, you are there. If I lie down where the dead are, you are there. If I rise with the sun in the east and settle in the west beyond the sea, even there you would guide me. With your right hand, you would hold me. God is everywhere, forever. He was there before the world was even created. He created it. He was there when the pyramids were built. He was there when people first lived in England. He was there at the first Christmas. He will be there when people drive flying cars and when we have robots living in our houses. Wherever you go, God is there, everywhere, forever. When I saw him, I fell down at his feet like a dead man. He put his hand on me and said, do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am the one who lives. I was dead, but look, I am alive forever and ever. And I hold the keys of death and where the dead are. God is everywhere forever. So we can trust him. Right, so he's helped us to understand again. God is everywhere, forever. In that video, the string, I've got it here, still going. This string, that is what God is like. Did you see it in all the different places, in all the different pictures? In every place, in loads of different times, it went on and on and on, everywhere. We saw that God made all things. God made time. He made everything in all the world and it's all his. It's all for him. So he is bigger than anything and everything. He's more amazing than everything and anything, everywhere, all of the time. There is nowhere that we can go where God is not there. That is wonderful news for us. All of those places that the Lego man was, places where we go, God is there. He's there all the time. And did you see the string? Everywhere it was there. In the dark, when you're alone, when you've done something wrong, when you're full of fun and joy and life, God is everywhere. Even more amazing, God is everywhere forever. God always has been and always will be. Did you see the verse from Revelation? Jesus is speaking, who is God, and he's saying, I am alive forever and ever. This piece of string is like God. There is no start to it. There is no end to it. In all of those places, it went on and on and on. And it has always been forever. It shows us that God was there before creation. He was there at the pyramids. 
And he will be there in the very next minute that we're here, the next hour, the next day, and forever and ever. He is never ending. Did you see something else about the string? Did you see that it was always the same? It never changed, always the same. That's what God is like. He never changes. He's always the same. There's no one like him. No one as amazing as God. No one as good as God. No one who loves us like God does. So we can trust God. God is everywhere forever. So we can trust him. It's coming to Christmas, isn't it? When we celebrate Jesus being born. Great time of year. Why do we celebrate Jesus being born? We're told at the very start of Matthew's story of Jesus's life that he would be known as Emmanuel, which means God with us. God with us. Jesus is God who came to be with us on earth. And you know what Jesus says at the very end of Matthew's story of his life? He says, just before he goes back to heaven to be with God forever, he says, go and tell the world about me. And as you do it, you can be sure that I will be with you always. I will continue with you until the end of the world. Remember we said in week one of our series, God shows us what he's like through Jesus. God who has always been, who's in charge of the whole universe. He came as a little baby to rescue us because we turned away from God. He died in our place, taking our punishment. And he promises to be with us everywhere, forever, until the end of the world when we trust him. This is what I want to do when I hear that amazing news. See this peg that I've got here? I've drawn a little figure of me on it, written me on it. This is what I want to do. This string is God. When I hear that amazing news, I want to hold on to God forever, trusting him in everything, always. I want to say sorry to God that I've turned away from him and that I try to hide from him. I want to thank God that he sent Jesus for me to rescue me so that I can be friends with him everywhere and forever. I want to hang on to God because he's everywhere forever. When I feel alone, when I feel happy, when I've done something wrong, when I try to hide, I want to hang on to God because he's everywhere forever and I want to trust him.